everyone, it's Lexi and welcome to Top 5 Wednesday. Today's topic is Top 5 Books We Felt Betrayed By. So if you're interested and want to learn more about Top 5 Wednesdays, I'll have the uh, Goodreads account linked down below for topics so you can learn more about this like community. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. So the first book on here was one I felt super betrayed by. I think because there was so much hype around this book and I did read a lot of mixed uh, reviews because I know a lot of the booktubers that I watched they praised this book they loved it um, so and then but there was some good reads that were like very negative so I was really like I don't know I was very hesitant to read it but because I knew a lot of people that I watched loved it so I was like okay I'll give it a try and it was Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake and this book like it follows three sisters who are kind of separated after they turn six and they each have their own power there's elementals naturalists and then poisoners and once they turn 16 they have like a year to kill each other off because there can only be one queen and so I thought this would be like an epic like very conniving political like book and I was extremely disappointed I felt betrayed because like I feel like it promises like so much like there would be like a lot of conniving and there'd be like this epic like battle but basically it was 90 like 90% of the book like nothing happened like I didn't find myself to be very attached to a lot of the characters like it was basically setting them up with their love interests and yeah like it was just really frustrating um I just felt really betrayed by it because I feel like this book had so much potential and so much that it had to work with and it just like it had to insert so many tropes and just like at the same time like so much like 90% of the book like nothing happened and it was a struggle to get through the ending like did have potential like to it like but I could guess like the big like plot twist at the end and yeah I was just I think it was just really disappointing and I felt like it kind of betrayed me because I felt like it was a very like it had it came off as a very pro like kind of feminist book but it the girls were more concerned about their relationship and there's cheating and just love triangles and like yeah. <laughs> if you want to know more about I feel how I felt about this I'll link my review to it on Goodreads down below because it was just like I was not happy. <laughs> so the next one is Empire of Storms by Sarah J Mass, and um, I had really mixed feelings about kind of the Throne of Glass series and just the direction it went. I loved the second one and then the third one was kind of like dull, like nothing happened during it, like nothing really much happened and then I didn't like the direction that some of the characters were going in and then the Queen of Shadows was good. I felt like a lot of stuff happened but I felt like there was a lot of um, just I don't know like characters weren't like themselves anymore and then so Queen of Shadows I was excited because it's the second to last book in the series but I don't know I really felt betrayed by it because I felt like it was more centered around like I enjoyed these side characters so much more than Selena like Aelin or whatever I do not like the pairing of Rowan I hate him and then like Kale just dropped off the face of the earth and like it was just like this is not the throne of glass that I knew and I did feel like a really big disconnect from Selena because like I don't know like I don't know if it was part of it to be like the big twist at the end but like it was just like you didn't really get to feel like what she was going like I was you weren't really in the mind of her um like I said, like we spent, I feel like I enjoyed and we got more from the side characters and I just like, I don't know, I, yeah, I just had a lot of issues with that. Like the side characters, I really kind of enjoyed their story and just how they all like intertwined at the end, but Selena, there was just such a big disconnect from her and I just, I don't know, it was weird and like, just kind of like how it was originally like YA and this one's kind of more new adult with kind of like the sexual stuff going on here and I don't know if it's it's just I think the way Sarah Jess Sarah J Mass like writes them it's just I find them really cringeworthy and awkward so it was just like 
And then this is also another Sarah J Mass book and it is A Court of Thorns and Roses. Again, I was really hyped about this book. Like I like I love the Beauty and the Beast and it's like not really retelling and I was really disappointed with the direction this series went. Like the first one, it didn't start out well. It did make up for it in A Court of Mist and Fury um, or A Court of... Um, yeah, the makeup, it made up for the second one, but like this one, it was just like, Farah drove me nuts. She was not a weak character at all. She kept making like these stupid mistakes over and over and never like really like learning from them. And she was just very what, weak and naive. And I just didn't like how she was like the abusive relationship that she had with Tamlin. And just like, again, with the sex scenes were a little... Like, I felt betrayed because Sarah J Maas does make really good female characters, and she did make up for it in the second one, but it was just like... Nope. Next is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I feel like this will be like a lot of people's, like, like a lot of people's top five most portrayed books, but like... I don't even know how to explain it, but it was just like... I don't know, like in my mind, Harry Potter ends with Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, like this is more like fan fiction. I feel like because it was written in prose, like a lot of it, like the characters and just like their emotions is like acted out by the actors, so you don't get that like, or it's written in like the play, like script or whatever, and then like when it's written just like a regular book, like you get more out of it, but I felt like I didn't like how it messed with the... I felt personally victimized by this, like, that's how bad it was, but I didn't like how it messed with the story that we know and love and just had that time thing and just, like, some of it was just, like, what? And I felt like a lot of, like, the other characters that we know, like Harry, Ron, and Hermione, they didn't feel like themselves. Like, I know it's been, like, 20 years, like, in Harry Potter world, like, since, like, the last book ended and, like, this one, but, like, it was just, like... This doesn't feel like them, like there wouldn't be, I feel like some of the problems that these characters had or the challenges, I feel like, I don't know, and I didn't care much for Harry's son and like Albus and like Sever, like or Scorpius, like I just was like, yeah, this book made me very angry. <laughs> And lastly, I have The Circle, and I was really excited to read this because I know it's going to be a movie starring Tom Hanks and Emma Watson, so I was like, ho oh, ho, I'm going to read this book before the movie comes out. And I feel like it did have a lot of potential, but, um, mm -hmm. sorry, that was my phone. But, yeah, like, because, especially if it stars, like, Tom Hanks, like, it, it has to be, like, to some standard, and I feel like because Emma Watson is starring as May, I feel like she would be portraying this really strong female character, but that was not the case. Like, May gets, like, this job at this really up-and-coming, like, technology company. It's kind of like Google and, yeah, Google, essentially. And she becomes kind of engulfed in this world where she's more worried about likes, like, getting people liking her, how many views she gets, and that kind of just destroys her personal life with her, like, parents and just... All that and it's just like she's very naive and I was just like I don't know if they're gonna change this for the movie because Emma Watson's gonna play her I don't know I'm very interested though in seeing how they do the movie because I love Tom Hanks and Emma Watson I'm still would go see the movie but I don't know this book I felt like it had so much to live up to and it just was just like I feel like this was, the author was just on one big soapbox and just complaining like he does not like technology and then that also had like the sex scenes in it as well that were just kind of like. So, <laughs> so that's it guys. I hope you enjoy my little rant that I had with these books. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and yeah, please let me know in the comments below what some of your books that you felt betrayed by. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.